Just like everything, I build it myself when I can. So what we have is a do-it-yourself Vista commercial quality wireless alarm control panel. And this is my current office until I get a desk. So this is the giant disaster that is at home alarm system. Wireless receiver, main control board, a Demco Vista 20P, about two, three manuals, wiring diagrams, and lots of miscellaneous wireless devices. I even found this cool module. I don't know what it does, but we're going to find out. It's the Vista ICM Internet Connection Module. No idea, but I saw Internet and I saw Vista, so I bit. So we'll see how it goes as I surround myself and ah, of course, as I surround myself in components and uh, various systems that make up the home burglar system with uh, hopefully fewer than normal hijinks from the cat. I really, really need a desk. Desperately need a desk. Desperately. This install brought to you by Diet Coke with Lime on the Western Digital 200 gigabyte coaster next to the Corsair Extreme Memory System 2 DDR coaster. Diet Coke with lime, because Diet Coke with pee would just not be the same. This install brought to you in part by a shitload of fans in an Antec case, because they always seem to be the background sounds in most of my videos. Let's enjoy it for a moment, shall we? Well, we're at the stage now where the IC boards control methods are all installed several screws several standoffs nothing to it heat sink chips connections um, now we reach the point where we have to provide a certain amount of resistance across our inputs in order to tell the system what's occurring so a Demco has graciously excuse me Honeywell is now a Demco I guess Honeywell um, have provided us with different resistors for different uh, situations. Um, we have a 3000 ohm resistor, we have a 6.2000 ohm resistor, and we have the standard 2000 ohm resistor. Typically 2000 ohms straight up for zones 1 through 8. Um, that's your standard resistance. Um, when you can actually stack in series different resistances across the same input to create what they call zone doubling or zone tripling where you can actually piggyback zone 1 through 8 and then you can build zones with different resistances behind it to add more individualized nodes or access points to the system. That makes zero sense to probably 99% of you. Just trust me that it's cool. So now, time to stick some resistors on board here because we're just going to do basically the same thing as we do when we build a PC. We throw all the dry components on give it some power, throw a battery on it, throw the correct ohms across the inputs, and then check to make sure the system is stable and programmable. So, rockin'. Got a power connection, 24 volts AC. Doubled up this conductor because all I had was some 22 gauge wire, and this isn't the final install. This is, it'll probably be 16 or so gauge, this is a data wire for the keypad, DC circuit, data circuit, nothing to it. Just basically firing it up on the ground here so I can do some programming, all these wireless nodes. And uh, power's there, resistors are nice and neat, ready to keep all the zones closed and happy. Nothing to it, almost time for power up. It's alive! Relay's clicking, data setting up. Yikes. 
atrocious video. It's just thinking about all the things it's going to do to screw me over here very shortly. Just got to boot up for a second, check all its inputs, then we can start getting down to the real ugly stuff. Enrolling wireless devices. Say it with me. That's when the pain really starts. battery on because this system does a voltage check every few seconds on the battery and it'll start griping very shortly if it doesn't detect one. Um, good sign here we got a uh, well I'll try to get some view of the keypad this is really pathetic. <laughs> Ready to arm that's a good sign that means that all inputs are shorted and the system is happy. So uh, now we can try enrolling some devices so that'd be super interesting. It's pretty slick you gotta wireless transmitter here and uh, he activated it automatically and rolls the serial code into the system pretty slick that's all there is to enrollment just go through all your wireless devices and add them just like that you can transmit to confirm it And check your code. And that's it. The right serial code was registered. And that battery lasts three years, so it's really very little reason other than this is kind of ugly to actually hardwire or anything anymore. That and there, it's a little cost prohibitive, but can't get much easier than that. And that is it. Pretty rudimentary programming, but we have a uh, functioning system now that shows this zone programmed and working. Done to it. Take magnet away. Zone 10 falls. Magnet back. It's back. You're rocking. Pretty cool. No wireless uh, home system would be complete without the very 1980s Magnum PI wireless keypad. It's totally Knight Rider looking. 9 volt battery in. 2 years worth of wireless keypad entry and exit. Pretty cool. Again, just a decent 9 volt. Good. And you're set. Wireless door contacts enabled. That makes five zones of wireless door ecstasy all wired and ready to go.